Good morning, Caterpillar. Good morning, little Caterpillar. Maybe the Caterpillar doesn't understand me, but I don't speak Caterpillar language. Maybe if I talk more slowly, he may be able to understand me. Hmm. Dear Mr. Caterpillar, I'm not sure if you understand me or not, but I'd like to wish you a good morning since it's such a beautiful day and I'm so happy. And when I'm really happy, I like to wish my friends a good morning. Today is not a very good day. Why isn't it such a good day? I thought if I was having a good day, everyone else would be too. All my life I wanted to see the world and visit many places. But I'm just a simple caterpillar and I won't have the chance to see a single thing. No oceans, no forests, no volcanoes. <gasps> I've got the solution to your problem. You just have to move a little faster. And I don't mean a little faster, but a lot faster. Look at the way I move. If I go slow like you, I go very slow. But if I go very fast, I'm here now. Now I'm here. Now I'm here. Now I'm here. Now I'm here. And now I'm here. Now I'm here. And now I'm here. And now I'm here. Milo. I think we better go see what's wrong with Moo Moo. I wonder what's gotten into her. What's wrong, Moo Moo? There's nothing wrong with me. Our friend, Mr. Caterpillar, is sad because he wants to travel, but the poor thing is so slow. He never gets anywhere. So I was... Just telling him that if he moved fast, really fast, he'd get to more places. <sighs> but Moo Moo, you don't realize that you move really quickly because you're a fast cow. But Mr. Caterpillar could never move as fast as you. He's very little and doesn't have fat feet like you do. Hey, my feet are not fat. Mr. Caterpillar, don't be sad. I promise that in a few days, you'll be able to go as fast and as far as you want. But how would that be possible? Have you ever heard of metamorphosis? No. Well, it's something magnificent that's about to happen to you. Soon, you'll no longer be a simple caterpillar and will transform into the most beautiful and elegant butterfly of the valley. Mm, a butterfly? There comes a time when all caterpillars transform into precious butterflies, and then they can fly wherever they want. So when will I transform into a butterfly? The first thing you need to do is to spin a cocoon and then go to sleep in it. When you wake up, you'll already be a butterfly. Hmm. Thank you, my friends. You've made me very happy. Moo Moo, don't be impatient. It may take days before Mr. Caterpillar becomes a butterfly. I'll stay. As you wish. See you Goodbye. later.
He's coming out! He's coming out! Everyone, look! He's coming out! Come on, Mr. Caterpillar, you can do it! Come on! He's no longer Mr. Caterpillar, now he's Mr. Butterfly! Same difference! What's important is that he's been transformed into something beautiful! Yeah! Oh, he's, he's so, so pretty. pretty! I want to be a butterfly like him, so handsome and beautiful! And me too! You're so pretty! Fly, fly butterfly, butterfly, fly away. away! Fly, butterfly, fly wherever you want to go! Now nothing can prevent you from going anywhere you want! You can fly as freely as the wind! You know what, Rita? When I'm older, I want to have at least two children. A little cow like me, and a bull like my daddy. Wait, wait. I think I'm going to have two little cows and one bull. I like girls better. But I'm sure it's better if two girls play with two boys. That's if I have two cows and two bulls. Well, I don't want to have any kids. I can't stand them. They spend all day crying and eating. And then, after eating so much, they don't stop. Oh, well, you know. Huh? Now what? You know, Moo Moo, what babies do all day is sleep, eat, and... <clears throat> I don't understand you, Rita. What's the matter? Do you have a sore throat or something? Let's see, Moo Moo, what do you do every day? Well, every day I wake up and I brush my teeth. Yeah, and then you? Well, then I eat a good breakfast. And then you? Well, and then I go play with you. Yeah, and then you? Well, then I eat again. But Moo Moo, don't you go to the bathroom? Yes, of course, every day. Well, that's what I'm trying to tell you, that all day long children are... Oh? <clears throat> Doing that. Doing what? Oh, never mind, Moo Moo. I'm going for a walk. Yeah, Rita. I'm sure you're going to <clears throat> do that, right? Moo Moo! I was just joking. Wait up. I'll go with you. What are you looking at, Rita? Look at that strange looking thing. What's so strange about it? It's just a rock. That's not a rock, Moo Moo. It's an egg. An egg from what? Well, it could be an egg from a snake or an egg from a dinosaur. Or from a giraffe. Giraffes don't come from eggs, Moo Moo. We're mammals, just like cows are. Oh, so what do we do with this egg? It's been abandoned, right? If you find an egg in some place, you have to leave it alone without touching it and wait for its mother to come and get it. But this one looks like it's been abandoned. That's a good point, Moo Moo. It would be better if we told everyone so we can decide what to do with this egg. Milo! Olga! Talalo! Alfred! Come over here quick! I've got something incredible to tell you! Moo Moo and I have found an abandoned egg along the stone path. And do you know what animal it comes from? We don't know, but it's a really big egg. I think I know what animal it comes from. From what, Moo Moo? I'm convinced it's an egg that came from a cow. But cows don't lay eggs. You're mammals, Moo Moo. Yes, that's what everyone in the world believes. But I think I know the magic secret. Mm. The secret of what? It's the big secret of cows like me. But I'll tell you more about it another time. Moo Moo, every day we understand you less. We'd better go and check on that abandoned egg. The egg is right over here. It looks like an egg from a small animal. It looks like a dinosaur egg to me. No way. It came from a cow. It looks like an ostrich egg to me, but I'm not sure. Given my vast experience in the field of animal science, 
I can deduce that this egg is from... It's moving! Now you'll see there's a cow and inside! A leg. And another leg! They're so pretty! How adorable! Oh, I love this! Careful! Ooh, Look how careful. fast it Don't step on it! Job, don't look at me like that. I said, don't look at me like that. <laughs> oh, oh, adorable! <laughs> you are so cute. Oh, what's the matter? You want a kiss? Come with mommy. Come with mommy. I'm going to call you Turda. I like turtles. Give me a kiss. We have a new member of the family. Yay! Yay! Rita. What an ugly looking cow, right? When I was little, was I that ugly? Moo Moo, it's not a cow, it's a turtle. I thought there was something strange. Although if you look closely, it does look like a cow. <sighs> Strange noises. I'm a little scared of monsters. I know they don't exist, but I'm still kind of scared. Well, I'm not afraid of anything, much less monsters, since we all know they don't exist. But I've seen some really strange things and heard some really strange noises that I have no idea how to explain. Just because you can't explain where the noises are coming from doesn't mean that they're hidden monsters. Well, maybe you're right. And all the noises I'm hearing are... Ah! Ah! I'm sure that was just the wind. The wind doesn't make that kind of sound. It came from that bush there. Oh, don't be silly, Moo Moo. You'll see that it was nothing. I'm going to hit it with this stick so you'll uh, see there's nothing there. Mm. Let's go, Rita. It's nothing. It's just a... explanation for this. There are no monsters. When we find out what it is, we'll have a good laugh. <gasps> Moo Moo, tell me exactly what happened. While Rita and I were walking peacefully along the dirt road, we were just minding our own business, talking about important matters. And all of a sudden, we heard a loud roar. First, we thought it was Rita's belly, but then, thanks to my intelligence, I deduced that there was a monster hidden in the bushes. Rita took a stick to battle against it. But then she screamed again, and we both ran away. We've got to go and investigate that noise. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? There's a monster. Don't go there. 
Yes! It's horrible! You can't just go! <sighs> They've left us all alone! Uh, how about we go with them? No! There's a monster! Oh! The monster's hiding behind that bush! What do you think it could be? I already know it can't be a monster, but I'm still scared. Don't you worry. There must be a logical explanation. He's going to devour us all! Run! <laughs> that sound is coming from some sort of huge beast. At the very least, it's a wild lion. A uh, lion? Oh, lions like to eat giraffe meat. I don't want to be his snack. Bye-bye! Uh, that lion's going to eat all of us. I think that we'd better get out of here right away before it's too late. Milo, we better go home because that lion could devour us in one bite. Yes, Olga, we better go. I'm not scared or anything, but I'd rather go home for a snack. Yes, yes, a snack sounds like a good idea. Mumu, Rita, we're going. Want to come? And so what are we going to do about the lion? We leave him here. We don't want to end up being his meal. Yeah, yeah, let's get out of here. No! no! Talalo, oh. don't do it. If you mess with the lion, don't he's do going to no. take revenge on <laughs> us. It's Alfred. He really scared all of us. I knew it couldn't be a monster, because monsters don't really exist. So then, Alfred is a lion? <laughs> <laughs> Why is everyone staring at me? Can't anyone sleep in peace around here? Sleep? Yes. But you were snoring like a wild animal. We thought you were a lion. Excuse me, but Sir Alfred doesn't snore. He breathes with style. Excuse me, but Sir Alfred doesn't snore. He roars. Rawr! So then, Rita is also a lion? <laughs> <laughs> we all got a bit scared. I knew it couldn't be a monster because they don't exist. But I still got scared. And I was also scared, but just a little bit. Well, I wasn't scared at all. I knew right away it was Alfred snoring. You're a bunch of scaredy cats. Ah! A lion! A vicious lion! <laughs> 